Hello, I'm Dr. Mark Newman, and I want to welcome you back this week. We've been talking about the thyroid gland. Remember, our motto is that when you change your health, you'll change your life. And our goal is to add years to your life and life to your years. I want to remind you to join us next week when we talk about more topics regarding your health. This week, let's talk about the thyroid gland as far as how it synthesizes the hormones. There's actually five steps in thyroid hormone synthesis. Let me break this down just quickly and then we'll go into it in more depth. The brain actually sends a signal out to the thyroid gland. Remember we told you it's a small butterfly shaped gland in the front of the neck. The thyroid primarily makes a hormone called T4. Four represents how many iodines are on that molecule. In the body, one of those iodines is removed, it becomes T3. Now we have a hormone that's active and powerful. When the body has enough T3, there's a signal that's sent back to the brain that says, we're good, you can slow down that stimulating hormone. So that's the loop that we look at. Now for this to work properly, you need a couple things. You need a properly functioning thyroid gland and you need enough iodine. Okay, let's talk about those five steps. Number one, we call iodine trapping. This only takes place in the thyroid gland. We said you need iodine, how do you get that? Through your diet, table salt, prunes, seafood, supplements, those are good options to get enough iodine. Studies tell us that the vast majority of Americans are not getting enough iodine through their diet, so most of us will need to supplement to maximize our thyroid function. So, primarily what happens then is the, in the bloodstream, in the bowel region, is where the body will grab that iodine and take it back to the thyroid gland. So now we get to step number two. This is called oxidation of the iodine. What happens then is the iodine is taken to the gland. The outer portion of the cells of the thyroid are where there are follicular cells. At that point, the iodine actually loses one of its electrons and then it moves into the inner cells or the colloid where it's actually stored. And in fact, that's step number three. We're talking about hormone storage. Now, inside the thyroid gland, there's enzymes that link to the thyroid hormones. Store them until they're ready to be used. So the next stage now is the release of the thyroid hormones. And that's that little loop we just told you about, where the brain sends a signal out to the thyroid gland, actually called thyroid stimulating hormone. It releases hormone. The bulk of that hormone we said is T4, which is an inactive hormone. A small portion of it is T3, which is the active uh, hormone, probably about 20% though, initially. In the body then, there's an enzyme, actually called 5 prime diiodinase which removes one of those iodines. It now becomes T3, which is the active, powerful hormone. So that's the loop that follows right there. And actually, number, step number five was that conversion of T4 to T3. Now, that's, that's, that sounds pretty simple, but it is very complicated. And again, in the past we've told you, if you have any thoughts that your thyroid might not be functioning properly, very simple to check that out. We do a series of labs. Thyroid stimulating hormone, we look at your T4, your T3. We can check T3, uh, reverse T3, which is actually a stored T3. And then we can look at antibodies for antibodies that would tell us indeed if you have some dysfunction of that thyroid gland. If, there, if there's problems that show up there, we can take the next step and that would be to do an ultrasound study and then determine what type of problem you have and a course of treatment. I invite you to take a look at our website, drmarknewman.com, for all of our blogs, videos, and topics. Give us a like on Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Leave us comments, questions, or let us know topics you'd like to hear us talk about. This is Dr. Newman. Thanks again for watching.